welcome to this session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that make a line plot for the set of data which shows percentage of students in mathematics test and the percentages are given as 85, 75, 85, 86, 85, 89, 85, 90, 86, 90, 86, 95, 86, 82, 85, 85 and 88. Also write one or two sentences that analyze the data. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know our result. And that is a line plot is a graph that shows frequency of the data along a number line and it is best to use a line plot when comparing fewer than Thirty numbers and it is a quick simple way to organize the data. Now let us discuss the steps to make a number line plot. Now once a data is collected it is then the time to make a line plot and the first step which we will follow is determine the scale to be used then in the second step draw a horizontal line across the paper then in the next step break the line into equal parts that will go into your scale. In the next step list the data and place a star over the correct number for each of the observation and if a number is repeated then place the star over the other. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in this question we are given a data of percentages of students in maths test. So in order to make its line plot we will follow the steps which we have discussed in the key idea. Now in the first step we have to determine the scale and here in the given data we can see that the values of the percentages range from 75 to 95. So in the first step as the values range from 75 to 95 
So we will take a scale of 5. It means we will take a distance of 5 between two numbers. That is, we will take 75, 80, 85, 90 and so on. Now in the second step, we will draw a horizontal line. So here we have drawn a horizontal line. Then in the next step, we will break the line into equal parts that is we will take a difference of 5 between two numbers on a number line as here we have taken 75, 80, 85, 90 and 95 and the difference between the two numbers that is the difference between the two consecutive numbers is 5. Now here we have taken the numbers from 75 to 95 as the values in the given data range from 75 to 95. Now we will arrange the given data in order. So here we have arranged the given data in order. And now we will arrange this given data on the number line. And for each observation we will put a star sign. Now here you can see that 75 is coming two times in the data. So as 75 is coming two times, so we will put two stars for 75. Then 79 is coming once. Now here, this is the line for 75. And the next line is for 76, then 77, 78, and this is the line for 79. Now 79 is coming once, so we will put only one star for 79. Then 80 is coming twice. So for 80, we will put two stars. Now 82 is coming twice. So for 82 also we will put two stars. Then 83 is coming once. So for 83 we will put one star. Then 85 is coming six times. So for 85, we will put 6 stars. Similarly, we will put the stars for the other observations also. Now here, from this number line plot, we have plotted all the observations. Now here from this number line plot you can observe that there are two students who have scored 95% in mathematics test and three students have scored 90% in mathematics test and so on. So we have marked the entire percentage on the number line and we are getting the required graph. Now from the graph we can see that most of the data is concentrated between 80 and 90 and 85 is the center of the data. 
So from the number line plot, we analyze that the most of the data is concentrated between 80 and 90 and 85 is the center of the data. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.